Hey, this is Brian again from sunny South Carolina where the summers are really, really hot in the triple digits and we have very high humidity. Our air conditioners here work different than those out in the dry west where they use what they call swamp coolers, um, using water to actually cool the air, uh, evaporation. Here, we've got to pull a lot of humidity out of the air to do a, an effective job of cooling the house. As a result, our air conditioners or the cooling coils um, have a drip pan underneath the unit to uh, take all that moisture that's pulled out of the air that condenses on those coils, but the water has to leave the house some way. So there's a pan, a drip pan, under those coils, and the water is diverted through PVC pipes to the exterior of the house. And I'm going to show you mine right here. This is mine. Uh, this comes out of the house from the second floor, uh, second floor attic. And as you can see, there's water, water dripping out of it already. In, in some houses, there is a PVC J-bend here, like you would see on a toilet, and that's to create a little water trap so that bugs and critters don't go up in there like mud daubers and stop it up. Because if it, if it does get stopped up, what's going to happen is the water backs up, it overflows the drain pan, and if your drain pan is on uh, above your ceiling, you're going to have water leaks and water damage. If it's under your house and it overflows, you may get um, black mold, mold and mildew under the house, which can be a problem. So we've got to get it out of there. But with so much water coming down that pipe, it sometimes develops algae and uh, uh, really thick, gunked up green uh, organic material from the dust that it pulls out of the air, and it just basically grows algae in there. Now, the heating and air systems will come in, uh, companies will come in, and they'll put a drain cleaner in there, which is fine, it works, but there's a way that you can do it for cheap. And there's a company out there making an adapter that costs 50, 60, 70, or $100 that you hook up to a shop vac. I'm going to show you how to uh, make one really cheap. This is my shop vac. There's the hose. And all this is, is the regular shop vac end. I've got a one inch, one inch, you see how large that is, one inch to three quarter inch adapter regular PVC adapter. Uh, since I want to take this off and maybe use it for other applications as far as the, I mean, the nozzle for the shop vac, I just use duct tape. There's going to be a very, very small gap between the tapered nozzle of the shop vac and that one inch opening for that elbow. All you have to do is seal off the vacuum with duct tape. What I'm going to do, you turn your vacuum on, you place this over that, and you turn on your shop vac. And if there is gunk in there, if that line is stopped up in some way, if that line is stopped up in some way, um, it's going to pull and vacuum out all that backed up water and all that algae. It won't get it completely clean unless you chemically treat it. But if you've got a stopped up system, it's an emergency, and you, and you need to evacuate that line, your shop vac, I think that elbow was about 87 cents maybe know what size your outlet pipe is so you have the right size adapter and you're going to be good to go. Hope this helps and we'll see you later. Remember, click up here and subscribe to my channel by clicking the little icon of me right up here. Take care.